What's Miami Beach's most coveted neighborhood? Stay tuned. Sepp here from Black Book Properties and condoblackbook.com, the only guide you need to know Miami real estate and lifestyle like an insider. Some of our most popular videos are our neighborhood tours, and today I'm gonna to give you all the details on one of Miami Beach's most exclusive areas, south of Fifth. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel right here on this page so you don't miss our latest content on all things Miami. When you think of Miami Beach, what comes to mind? Gut reaction? Beaches, incredible beaches, right? A sort of sophisticated seaside lifestyle, amazing restaurants, some pretty nightlife, a lot of palm trees, and of course, the sun. Today's neighborhood features all of these and much more. I'm talking about Miami Beach's South of Fifth neighborhood, or SOFI as some call it. SOFI is a pocket-sized neighborhood that sits on the southernmost tip of South Beach, and it's surrounded by water on all three sides, the ocean, government cut where all the cruise ships come in and out, and Biscayne Bay. It's basically the entire area of South Beach starting below 5th Street, just off the MacArthur Causeway that takes you to mainland Miami. And the west end of the neighborhood being the first stop off the causeway, you really aren't far from the rest of Miami, just about 10 to 20 minute drive to downtown, for example. This neighborhood is where laid back meets luxury, and that's why it's one of the most sought after neighborhoods in all of Miami. Attracting international residents who are often high net worth individuals, you'll see a lot of executives living here during the winter and spring months when the weather is absolutely incredible. And you also have year round residents who just can't resist the charm of this neighborhood. Sophie is a wellness haven. While small, this is a neighborhood that has a distinctly walkable community feel and is a knockout for wellness. Because it's so small and mostly residential, the streets are quiet, there are great sidewalks, and it's just really walkable all around. But it's also a fitness lover's paradise, like most of Miami. Besides having the luxury Equinox Gym in this neighborhood, as well as Orange Theory Fitness, there are also several yoga studios, plus yoga and training classes in South Point Park almost every day. By the way, this park is also amazing for kids. It has a really nice playground with a splash area and water features, room for biking and scooters, plus picnic benches and a little cafe, all just steps from the beach. I'll talk more about the park a little bit later. Because Sophie is small and walkable, there are great cafes, restaurants, and shops on almost every block. It's got a small town feel to it, so you'll probably find yourself looking forward to maybe a morning swim, a little walk on the beach, and then a short walk around the neighborhood to grab that delicious juice or coffee. Sophie offers some of the best dining options in all of Miami Beach, and maybe all of Miami, both in terms of quality of food and service. So you'll easily find your favorite spots here, and it's pretty common that you'll get to know the baristas and waiters here, and they'll get to know you. From a local favorite Milo's to Prime 112, or outdoor sunset dining at Smith & Walensky, there are many stellar restaurants in this exclusive neighborhood. For vegans, Planta is a favorite, while Azabu in the Marriott has incredibly fresh sushi, and let's not forget Michelin star restaurant Stubborn Seed, and of course, a longtime favorite, Joe's Stone Crabs. Plus, there are many coffee shops, bakeries, juice bars, and cafes like Pura Vida and Cava Garden, just lots of amazing places packed into this little neighborhood. In terms of shopping, you really have all that you need right around you. On Fifth Street, there are the staples of Target, Publix, Best Buy, Petco, Total Wine, TJ Maxx, and more. And Whole Foods is only five blocks away. And while you're going north on Washington Avenue, just north of Fifth Street, you've got major fashion brands and retail shops as well, just a walking distance away. If that's not enough, you're also a quick 10 minute drive from the famous Lincoln Road Outdoor Promenade where you'll find a lot of major brands you're familiar with. Or head to quaint Sunset Harbor for more boutique shopping, high-end grocery like Fresh Market and Trader Joe's, and some favorite locals restaurants like Sardinia and Lucali, which is my favorite pizza place. Luxury shopping options are also very close by. You're about 15 to 20 minutes from Brickell City Center, which is anchored by Saks Fifth Avenue and has almost every top luxury brand you can imagine. You can also stay on the beach and just head north about 25 minutes to Bar Harbor Shops Outdoor Mall, where you'll find even more top brands, including Neiman Marcus, Cartier, Chanel, Bottega Veneta, Gucci, Missoni, I, I can go on and on. Both at Bar Harbor and Brickell City Center, you'll find all the favorite luxury brands you want, 
And they're really great places to find great restaurants as well. If everything I've already talked about hasn't convinced you yet, then the nature around, the access to the beach, and the South Point Park should do the trick. Sophie's beach area is truly beautiful. It has a fishing pier, just make sure you have your fishing permit, and this amazing nature-focused way of life and vibe. The entire neighborhood is anchored by South Point Park, which is about 17 acres, which also has a nature trail and a boardwalk that spans its entire waterfront perimeter. In the park, along with the kids' playground and splash park, you'll find a frozen yogurt concession, a Smith & Walensky steakhouse with outdoor dining, a dog park area, outdoor showers, and plenty of green space to throw down a blanket and have a picnic, read a book, or just take a siesta. At sunset, the western side of the park comes alive with impromptu revelers enjoying the sunset, sometimes with live music, yoga, and slacklining. It's just a really happy, relaxed place. If you keep walking west and a little north along the waterfront promenade boardwalk, you'll reach South Point Marina and Monty's Raw Bar, another local's favorite for great seafood after a day on the boat. What I personally love about this little beachside neighborhood is that even though it's small, it has the perfect mix of housing options and architecture. There's something for everyone here. There are beachfront and waterfront condos, both high rises like the Continuum Towers and Apogee, and incredibly luxurious boutique mid-rises like One Ocean and 321 Ocean that feel like modern beach houses, complete with personal private pools and massive private terraces. Then there are even more boutique architectural gems and loft buildings nestled in these tree-lined streets, but just blocks away from the beach. Of course, you can expect to pay a premium for some of these condos and their amenities and proximity to the beach, but it's well worth it. While Sophie is small and sometimes has its fair share of tourists, it's also pretty family friendly. If you've got young kids, South Point Elementary School is an excellent public school in this neighborhood. There's also Base Camp 305, a private school here, for pre-K through second grade, and if your kids are older, there's Miami Beach High School, as well as several private schools on the beach or within about 30 minutes that most Sophie kids attend. Who's Sophie not for? If you're a city person and you prioritize being in the thick of things, we'd recommend maybe Brickell or downtown Miami. Sophie will just be too small for you and its relaxed vibe may be too slow. On the other hand, Sophie can get a bit touristy in the high season, spring break, and long weekends. So if you really can't stand having tourists floating around your neighborhood, this may not be the best neighborhood for you. If you want a really family-focused neighborhood that's on the water or by the beach though, we'd recommend Coconut Grove or Key Biscayne, or maybe even Edgewater. Key Biscayne if beach is a priority, the other two if waterfront works. But if you want the beach day and night, you want a luxurious condo to live in with excellent amenities, but a relaxed vacation vibe when you leave your building, and neighbors who are like-minded, Sophie is nearly unbeatable. I also go into detail about South of Fifth in one of our neighborhood comparison videos, Sophie versus Edgewater, so be sure to check that one out. There's so much to love and explore about this iconic neighborhood, so if you want more information, give us a call, shoot us an email, or leave a comment below for an exclusive insider tour. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to check us out on Instagram too. If you want to see us cover a specific Miami neighborhood or topic, let us know below in the comments. As always, have a great day.